The regulations compel alcohol-based hand sanitizer manufacturers and distributors to register their products with the Namibia Standards Institution, NSI, within 21 working days. This is to allow them to continue production and distribution without delays. Kriata Kamania, owner of the Salute Soaps and Chemicals Industries, is one of those certified by NSI to manufacture alcohol-based hand sanitizers. A quick visit to his warehouse in Ventuk showed batches of fully bottled chemicals ready for distribution to customers. The former boxer turned businessman says government imposing fines on unregistered manufacturers is long overdue given the sensitive nature of the chemicals industry. Working with chemical is something, chemical is something dangerous. It can uh, bend your hands, it can bend your body. It's very, if you don't know how, how, you, how you really can mix it. If you don't have incorrect data sheet for the chemical you, you want to, to, to make. The required use of the alcohol-based hand sanitizers has had some unintended consequences on the industry, such as the rise of individuals deciding to mix the contents themselves and sell, something which both Kamania and the NSI cautions against. You must really follow the, you having a formula, that formula it directs you how you how many water you must mix, how many chemical, which chemical you must put it on, how many alcohol you must uh, put it on. In terms of the regulations, registered manufacturers must inform the NSI of any material change in the formula of hand sanitizers and provide new evidence in line with the requirements. Importers must also apply for approval prior to shipment to serve as a declaration that the products have been manufactured in accordance with the regulations from where they were produced. Blanche Goreses, NBC News, Ventuk.